Hello, welcome to my video. Time to show the community how I hunt Cobra Bastion. We all seen the news, last year, the nerfs about Cobra Bastion. Some people were mad and some people were glad it finally got nerfed, long overdue. Luckily, I could witness the pre-nerf period, and how good it actually was. If we look at the stats, it seems massive. Cobra Bastion had a 16% nerf in experience and all of them dropped 4% less loot, that's pretty big if you ask me. As a test I would like to compare how much experience per hour we're getting compared to pre-nerf periods. I am not using defense praise, nor charms. Only my weekly free experience boost of 30 minutes which will run out in 15 minutes. Is this spot still awesome to hunt at, solo or in team? Let me know in the comments. Level of the character you'll be seeing in this video is level 400. For the people that are not aware of how the Bastion actually work, to have the best experience as possible it is best to get some empty flasks with snake poison. If you are unaware where its location is, I've added a screenshot of it, just in the top right corner. The Cobras are just a bit south of the Bastion, where we will use the empty flasks on the Cobras. Once we got that out of the way, it's time to use it on the Cauldron and poison the Cobras so they lose 25% of their initial health. The Cauldron is located on plus 2, in the middle room, just south of the very big table. As soon as you port it in, you can start hunting. I always like to go directly north from here since you basically start with a big pull already. I can't really linger here and get them all to chase me at once, because they could combo you and give you a free ticket home. So there's usually a few leftovers here. Finish them with great fireballs or sudden deaths. Before you actually go to the north, check if there are 4 viziers trapped in the room I just highlighted. I like to have them trapped, but if you feel confident enough to take the viziers along with the pull, feel free to do so. Going south to the second pull may be risky to do, since it's quite narrow in here and as a result you could get trapped, I will show you an alternative way of how to handle this pull, making it a bit more easier. For your third and last pull up in the north you have tons of space. Try to lure the cobras from the right alley along with the rest of the group, making it a bigger pull and start walking in large circles so the scouts stay somewhat in the middle of the area. The same strategy counts for your final pull just north. The most important thing is to know your limits here, forcing yourself just to get that extra experience per hour and risking your life, may not really be worth it. I found out the hard way myself back in the day. So I guess you already know what I am about to say. Physical protection. Try to maximize it, or try to find that sweet spot where you can balance both enough physical protection in combination with earth and magic level boost equipment. I for example mixed my equipment with enough physical protection and earth protection. Alternatively, you could use the following set I'm showing you on screen. Oh, I think I forgot to mention. The Cobra Flask lasts 30 minutes. Keep an eye on the timer, or set a timer just 10 seconds prior so you can refill the cauldron. Having a spawn with Cobras on full health again takes significantly more time to kill. This was the alternative way I was talking about earlier. Instead of just killing the monsters at this spot south, try to take most Cobras up to the north where you have bit more space. Or let one Cobra stand at the door, so you only get hit by one while you can attack the rest of the group. It's all up to you and how you want to handle it. Personally, I still enjoy this place when I go here solo. There are a few pros and a few cons but if you want to get good experience I guess it's dangerous everywhere. As for team hunting aspect, people tend to hasten their routes to get maximum of their hunt which isn't wrong just to be clear. But with speeding things up, you also run in greater risks, because your team want that top experience. So it's highly advisable to use a voice communicating program, so you can interact with each other way faster if something unexpected would happen. Typing in game is not of this age anymore. That's it for me on this video. If you like the content, found it helpful or had a good laugh with my playing style, hit that follow and subscribe button. This way you will always be notified whenever I post a new video and it also helps me in growing. Enjoy the rest of the video and I'll be seeing you guys in the next one.